Today, I'm going to show you silver recovery from relay contact. The metals used for relay contacts are are carefully selected based on their properties to ensure reliable performance. Silver, copper, and gold are the most common metals used. Silver is widely used in relay contacts due to its excellent conductivity and durability. I'm putting the relay contact in a beaker Taking 200 milliliters HNO3. And adding 400 milliliters water. Adding it into the beaker of relay contact. Now I'm going to leave it for 2 hours. After 2 hours. Now I'm going to heat it. In a heating plate at 100C. Do not ever heat the solution right after adding acid in it. Wait till the reaction to go down. Then heat it. After 1 hour of heating. I'm taking 200 milliliters HNO3, then adding 400 milliliters water. Adding it into the solution. This process will continue till the silver contact is fully not dissolved. After another hour later, again taking 200 milliliters HNO3, 400 milliliters water, adding it to the solution. Again after one hour later, in a larger beaker than the previous one, I'm taking 100 milliliters HNO3 and 900 milliliters water, adding it into the beaker. Ensure that all relay contacts are dissolved before turning off the stove. I'm turning off the heating plate. Adding 1 liter or double amount water. Water will decrease the density of the acid. I'll leave it for 2 hours for the undissolved elements to settle down. Now I'm going to filter it through cotton filter. We can see the undissolved elements, which we are filtering out. The filtration is done. Washing the funnel.
Now, moving to the next step. Transferring the solution from conical flask to a beaker. Washing the conical flask. I'm taking sodium chloride, 50 gram in a beaker, adding 500 milliliters water to dilute. I'm going to gradually pour the sodium chloride solution. The silver has started to precipitate slowly. Stir to mix. Again, adding some of the sodium chloride solution. Adding the remaining of the sodium chloride solution. The precipitation is ongoing. Silver chloride is settling down. So I'm going to leave it for one hour. One hour later, I'm going to separate the silver chloride. Transferring the silver chloride in a smaller beaker. Oh no, a mistake happened by mistake. Here I'm washing the silver chloride with water. And like this I'm going to wash it five more times. This is the sixth wash and last two. Stir it. Mm -hmm. 
let the silver chloride settle at the bottom before. Then drain the water. Now I'm going to add 10 to 12 gram aluminum with the silver chloride. Here I'm taking 100 milliliters HCl. Adding 500 milliliters water. Pouring the HCl solution. After pouring HCl solution onto the mixture, silver chloride and aluminum, the HCl will react with the aluminum to form aluminum chloride and hydrogen gas. The aluminum will then reduce the silver chloride to metallic silver, leaving behind pure silver. Leave it overnight. The next day, I'm going to wash the silver five more times. Now I'm going to collect the silver in a coffee filter. Putting the silver in a crucible. I'm going to melt the silver. Silver melting point is 9618C. From 200 grams relay contact, recovered 45 gram silver. Thank you for watching.